Hi, everybody. Great news. We are open again here at the Cathedral of Christ the Light for indoor worship. Thanks be to God. And I look forward to welcoming you personally here at the Cathedral this weekend. Uh, because we're reopened, we are resuming our regularly scheduled Masses. Uh, you could find the schedule in the description below. Um, we've been open all week and we restarted the uh, daily Masses. It's been a great response by our, our parishioners and guests. So we look forward to welcoming you this Sunday. Uh, we won't do a reservations process this time. Uh, we, our limit is 325 people inside the cathedral. So I invite you to come early, come on time, so that you can get into the cathedral. We will be counting all of the people who come in, and once we hit 325, we'll be closing the doors of the cathedral, and um, those who are uh, late or over the limit will have to view the Mass um, outside or go to one of the other scheduled Masses. So you, again, you could check out that Mass schedule in the description below. As part of our being in conformity with the rules and regulations of this new opening at a 25% capacity, one of the things, unfortunately, is that we cannot have our full choir, our wonderful, renowned choir under the direction of Rudy DeVos, our music director. Um, the choir has been so faithful and really enhancing the liturgical experience uh, for many years, and especially during this time of the pandemic. But now that we're open in public, we will be reducing uh, the musical experience of the cathedral to just a canter and the organ. And we'll be doing that for some time until things get better in terms of the pandemic. So our choir members are obviously affected by this. And um, so I ask that uh, you with me uh, pray for them and uh, encourage them. And if you see Rudy this weekend, please do encourage uh, Rudy, and we look forward to welcoming the full choir back as things get better. This Sunday, we kick off in our diocese the annual Bishop's Appeal. It is the annual appeal um, that the entire diocese participates in to help the uh, services of the diocese and helping the bishop to take care of all of the needs uh, of people here in the Diocese of Oakland. The goal for our cathedral this year is the same as it was last year, 28,800. Last year in 2020, thanks be to God, thanks to your generosity, we exceeded our goal. We raised $48,600 uh, in the appeal last year, which was about 169% of our goal. That is completely amazing. And on behalf of the bishop, I want to thank you for your generosity in last year's appeal. But here we are in a new year, and we're going to start it all over again, and you'll hear more about it as the uh, weeks go by. Um, so uh, together as a people of faith, um, I know that uh, we can meet our goal, and let's continue to support our bishop in carrying out the good work that he is doing, uh, both in our community, but also in the diocese at large. Lent is coming up right around the corner. Uh, next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and you can see the uh, schedule of our Ash Wednesday Masses in the link below. There are many opportunities uh, to grow spiritually this Lent um, with Stations of the Cross and Adoration and other moments of prayer. And during the season of Lent, oftentimes we think about it as giving something up. Well, I think another way to look at it is while we do make sacrifices and give something up, we are also feasting on something. We take on something more that we can delight in and grow in our relationship with the Lord and with others, and that could bring us uh, joy and peace and happiness. I'll let you know that what my Lenten practice will be this year is to take seriously my role as intercessor for you. And I will be embracing that role even more of praying intentionally with and for you, our parishioners and our guests. So I invite you to send me your prayer intentions. Um, I'll be happy to, to, uh, to pray 
over them, but also to pray with you when I see you uh, in person. Now, this Lent as a community, I really hope that we can lean into building this culture of prayer. Prayer where we're not only doing our devotions and the rosary and, and adoration, all those things are great, but also building a culture where we are praying with and for each other. So prayer is taking a very central role in our community this Lent. You'll be hearing me preach a lot about it, and you'll be seeing um, some of our videos and other series that we're doing about prayer. But today, I just wanted to talk about where do we start? All right, so we're going to start praying. Well, I found uh, very helpful this brand new app. Um, Joe, our communications manager, uh, introduced me to it. It's called Hallo, and we're going to link it up to our website. And it's based off of a lot of those apps that help facilitate meditation. Um, but sometimes those apps can take away from our Catholic identity. But this app called Hallo really um, embraces our Catholic identity. And there's some great resources in there, uh, videos, opportunities to pray um, the rosary and uh, pray vespers and things, um, but also uh, great videos and articles about where to start. And so I invite you to check out this app called Hallow that's linked to our website. And maybe together we as a community um, can use this as a tool that facilitates a true culture of prayer. And so please know, though, that I am constantly always praying for you and that you are all always deep within my heart. Moving forward with our videos, what I want to do is take a moment to pray over you, actually, and to close with a blessing. Now, sometimes people would think, okay, that's really weird, Father, you want to pray over us and give us a blessing, but um, we're not viewing the video at the same time that you're giving it. So how am I receiving that blessing? How am I receiving that prayer? Well, I always look at it this way. You know, the blessing in that prayer, it's coming from God. Um, and God exists outside of time. And maybe as you experience this prayer that I'm going to pray over you and the blessing, uh, maybe we can see it as a reminder that even though we're separated by time right now and place, that God's still blessing you. And that God's still bestowing graces and abundance upon you. That's my belief when I pray over you. And um, please know that um, no matter where you are right now and where you're viewing this video, God's doing something truly amazing in your life. So why don't we close with a prayer and a blessing as we go forth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and ever-living God, um, I pray for this community, the Cathedral of Christ the Light, our parishioners and our guests. And Lord, community is something that is important to you. Before time began and throughout the ages, you existed as a community of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, you came into a community, a human family with Mary and Joseph. And still more, Lord, you built a community of disciples um, around you, the 12 whom you ate with and walk with and taught. And even beyond that, Lord, um, you built the community that is the church, the community that we are part of. And Lord, as we begin Lent, um, I pray in a particular way for the men and women of our community. I ask that you bless them. I ask that you sustain them and give them healing, give them peace, give them the direction. Pour forth the Holy Spirit upon their lives so that they may be true witnesses and heralds of the gospel. And Lord, this Lent, my prayer is that we can become a community of intense, intentional prayer. Just like the disciples who, when they prayed after Pentecost, their prayer was so strong that their house shook and you sent your spirit and they were able to proclaim boldly the good news. I pray for that same outpouring upon this community, upon our parishioners and our guests. Please enkindle in us our faith 
a deeper longing and a yearning to proclaim you to the ends of the world. And upon all of you who are gathered um, and watching this video, I ask God's blessing upon you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. I wish you all a very blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless.